Hello, Divine Sunshiners. Stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascended. Namaste, Namago. Hello, this is Divine Sunshine coming to you with your um, trigger warning. And the channel message, really, in some ways. Uh, excuse me. Did you know the way that you talk about your twin is also blocking you to union? Should, like, cue the music. I should do that. Do a new way. Click. <laughs> and then start over again. Yes. Doing um, the way you talk about your twin to yourself is a block to union. Uh, I was doing an exercise with um, Cassidy and she was talking about uh, this it was a good um, thing. It's a meditation in which you do to help you clear the energies between you and your twin flame. Uh, so go to Twin Flames 1111 um, and she has a beautiful, like I said, meditation for you to do there. Um, in that meditation, she talks about how the way you talk about it, such as you, some of you say, like, for example, he works my nerves. This ain't going to work. I wish he'd go somewhere. Uh, you know, he stay with the karma for all I care. You know, he better off over there. But at the same time, you know you want your divine counterpart, cancel, universe, all that stuff. I'm using this as an example. This is not me. Have I said those things? Yes, I have been guilty of saying those things um, right now. But when she brought it to me and in the whole thing, you've got to clear all of that stuff out. Um, those energies, because if that's really what you want and you do want your divine counterpart, that's something that you got to think about. What were some ways that I spilled this and in the heat of the moment? Uh, I can say in the heat of the moment. Uh, so what in the heat of the moment have you said about your twin that really is causing you to stop? Like, you know, I can't see myself with him. Uh, this ain't going to work. Uh, you know, all those kind of things like that. He's better off with somebody else. All those dialogue talks of things that she was saying that it's been kept in your twin flame bubble. That energy has been just floating around almost like they're showing me like an aquarium. You know, a lot of times when you're in the aquarium, you got to clean it out from all of that stuff. That food, the waste from the, the, the actual fish themselves. Uh, dead fish, all that stuff. And in that aquarium, you look and say, oh, that looks so beautiful. But then when you look at it, uh, you say, you know what? This needs to be cleaned out. So you need to kind of like watch that. We always talking about manifesting and our words and stuff, but we haven't really thought about, you know, how is the words that I'm actually using? How is that also helping to do that you know in your mind you probably said well i had said that then that was not something that i was saying to myself that i wanted that to kind of continuously keep on going but she brought up a thing and i had like a serious light bulb moment like yeah i've said that stuff well, who knows that it's still karmically again creating a hard lesson that's got to be learned some things they had been and i could tell you even if i admit on my own self the day that i said that he was getting on my nerves i said i can't handle this somebody else got to come and handle me and then unless i can't do it and then lo and behold in 24 hours did that person not appear out of poof out of thin air <laughs> in 24 hours literally might have been already but she probably just made herself known then it was like okay it's out now there's no hiding that because you gave permission for her to exist Yes, Margaret, Santa Claus does exist. <laughs> so, in doing that, oh, excuse me. Uh, in doing that, let's watch. I know April Williams is always talking about watch the verbiage. But who did? Who would have dunk that you even talking to yourself? You got to even watch that too as well. Who would have thunk it? That this caused you to be able that you've got to, again... Look and see how is mm -mm, I don't know what that is. Get out of here. Uh, look and see how you using that type of talk, negative self-talk, which is really negative twin talk, 
is contributing to the aquarium of all this stuff that's floating around in the aquarium that's got to be that is like almost like algae it's been there for a while and now all of a sudden excuse me my nose uh it's got to be cleaned out and that was just an aha moment i'm like oh like yes i said that that stuff has got to be cleared out the energy field because some of you all may say well i'm ready now but you think about the things and the wording and the sayings that you had said in the past and how that is coming to reverberate and acting as a block now so you've actively got to find a way to clear that energy out of your space right now saying so you can give clearance and opening to that occurring and happening for you and your twin okay some things again that you could do is the hawaiian pound honopono prayer you could do that to clear the energies as well. You could do a thing that David's been telling me about the container or also what Kathy D's saying about that as well. They bring it to me, shipping it, all visualizing, seeing that happening as well. Now, I'm going to tell you this as well. Now, let's not look for, and I had to even talk to myself for magically, um, the, like Lucky Charms, they, they magically appear. And then everything is going to be magically delicious once you do that. Now, they might happen in that thing. But again, I want you to practice patience in this too. Because I know a lot of times some of us do believe that, you know, instantaneously, yes, it can. But if it does not, that does not mean that you did anything wrong. Sometimes, again, you got to remember, again, it's like sediment they're showing me. Or like things have calcified over time that they have become hard. And that's something that you're going to have to kind of constantly work with yes i do see yes i can do i know i spoke the words say that he, i can't handle it i can handle it you know start handling yourself start changing and shifting things within yourself but i wanted to bring this to you because they keep on singing that song in the heat of the moment it was just you said something in the heat of the moment so i guess i'll title this what have you said in the heat of the moment of the twin flame that's acting as a uh, block for you as well because we've said some things in the heat of the moment we was upset uh and you know some of this stuff is now coming along and now like you know it's causing we coming in and we're talking about like kathy d say that coffee pot and we're trying to clean up all of this stuff that's happening within us and this is where we are how can they what is this little bit of scraping of something down there that say hey we got the all clear but when we look in the 3d say this stuff ain't matching up something is still in the bottom of this thing like a purse i cleaned it out but something is still in there all right so i just wanted to bring this to you i think that's be uh thursday friday it might be friday so i don't know it's been the next one i'm gonna jump this in there uh because i had one the other day but i'm uh for tomorrow but i didn't think it's ready i pushed it back to next week so we'll see all right then it's always stay uplifted stay motivated stay ascended namaste namago love you